Alright guys, friend to all here, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be playing Far Cry Primal. So, without further ado, let's jump in. And see what mischief we can get up to today. This is my Sabertooth Tiger companion that needs healing. So let me heal him. And they, they definitely come in uh, useful. These uh, companions. Oh. So you can. So you can. Send your companion off to kill. An animal. Or even an enemy. And it will come up beast killer. Uh, so if you needed that skin. Where is the. Sometimes it's kind of hard to find. Oh it's uh, rolling down the hill. <laughs> Get me a roll back. And it also protects you from wolves, as you can see, the wolves are running off. So that's uh, another useful thing about them. Right. Oh. Gotta get down. Let's send my saber tooth tiger in. See what he can do. There you go. Oh, some more I don't know. He'll deal with them. I'll go and loot these bodies, see what they've got. Heal him. See, as soon as I started playing... Oh! They come from nowhere. Oof. Nice. Yeah, have some meat. You did good today. As you can see, the graphics quality on this game is second to none. Especially at night when you get the moon rays coming down. Yeah, it's just it is one of the best graphically anyway that I'm playing at the minute I played all the Far Cry uh, games and I like the fact that they've gone back to basics with this one right it's down here then Daily resources now available. Nice. Headshot, get down. Get down. Let's see what you got. So if you like playing games that are not just about weapons and grenades and all that carry on, then this is definitely a game for you. The only weapons you can have is a club, bow and arrow, spear, You've got kind of like bait bombs and sting bombs, and you can, you've actually got like throwing shards, which they're pretty useful, but pretty much they're your three main weapons. Um, yeah, spear, long bow, or you even got nut double bow, long, long bow and bow, two handed club, club, bait bomb traps, shard, kapala shard, berserk shard, basically, berserk is. If you throw a shard into an enemy, then they'll be become infected and they'll start attacking 
um, the allies, so that's pretty useful. Sting bomb is pretty much bees nest that you drop down, and then berserk bomb is the same as the sh berserk shard. There's also another useful thing that you can use on this game as well. It's called I think it's called something like owl view or basically you can go into owl mode. So say you're going to take down a camp, you can go into this mode, and if you if you add um, like the berserk bombs and the sting bombs, you could see as see how it picked out that enemy there. It just makes it makes it easier to identify where the enemies are and how you're gonna take them down and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is I think this is quite useful. Cause you can actually go quite low as well. Quite low. You can't stray too far away from your objective of where you actually are. So I'm down there. So if I try to go into this direction, it will warn me in a minute. That too. Oh, there's a big grizzly bear though. But if I keep flying this way, it should tell me in a minute that you're going too far. Well, it should do. Probably the furthest I've been with. See, there you go. Your owl is too far from you. But to go back out of it, you just press Z. And there is. Where is that bur? Come and get it by. I'll weaken it for you. <laughs> Heal him. Brain bar, get that skin. But yeah, to hit to hit a good headshot on this game, it's it takes a lot of skill because obviously every arrow dips. So you can see the two enemies. But yeah, we're just pretty much. I just wanted to show you what the game looks like. Um, just the basics, really. I'm not going into much detail of the campaign or anything. Just uh, if you're thinking of getting this game, maybe this video will persuade you to get it. But yeah, I highly recommend. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the today, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, if you liked it, give me a like. If you want to see something else on the game, or you want to just tell me something, then uh, write it in the comments section. And uh, I'll see you at the next video. Peace out.